Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. This is another video of calendar business object. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to get public holidays between the given date range. So let me delete all these things. Delete this also. Let me take action stage. Double click on that. Select calendar. Select get public holidays in range now let me go here and now you can see this is our public holidays it means now we are going to get all the public holidays stored in the collection we'll get from here and we'll write to the collection and then if you want to loop through each date you can go and you can check that right so here we need to enter the calendar name that is we have USA calendar first date so let me put here today because I want to just check only between today's and last date is our end of this month so 31st October 2021 now go to output click on this so it will store all the public holidays date in the collection in this collection date item that is public holidays now click ok now this is collection and in this collection we'll be getting date and name it means the date of the public holiday and name of the public holiday it means veterans day and the date and then columbus day and the date like that okay now link this reset refresh if anything we have changed in the in the holiday calendar now step by step so currently in this date range we are not getting any public holiday it means that is empty it means we don't have anything now let me go and check here between today's date it means 16 to 31st October do we have any public holiday no only we have in October only one that is already previous day now just to check that our code is working fine or not so now let me put here 30 November now click ok right click set next stage now we are going to check public holidays between today's date and 30th November and we are getting two that is 11 11 that is Veterans Day 25 11 that is Thanksgiving days so we have two public holidays that is coming here in the USA calendar that is Veterans Day and 25 11 so by this way you can get public holidays and then you can loop through each date if you want to do something and by this way you can get public holidays between the specific date range so i hope you learned something from this video if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video